few. Your paddock's looking pretty good these days. Yeah, this one's uh, starting to really, really recover, Jody. Because then it was probably one of the worst ones we had. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking good now. You've got plenty of species diversity. I see you've got some wallaby grass. Yeah, we uh, we actually only grazed it twice last year, so that could could do a seed. And yeah, it looks like it's really paid off now. Yeah, and the, even the stipends look pretty good. They're in good yeah. condition, all shooting away. Yep. Yeah, that's for sure. There's a bit of Danthonia on the other side that uh, I wasn't aware was in this paddock, so that's even even going to be good when that gets going. Yeah, so the other C4s I see you've got a bit of Enneapogon or blackhead grass. Yep, that's right. And some Aristida. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Mariana's just starting to come back a bit too. Oh, okay. And did you say you've got windmill grass in this paddock? Yeah, a bit of windmill grass, yeah. So you've got a real diversity in your paddock. What about your herbs in this paddock, Neil? There's a few convolvuluses. Oh, okay. So yeah. the, you've seen plenty of pink flowers this year? Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep, and you've got, I see there's a fair few vitodinias in the paddock too. So yep. the um, New Holland Daisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're they're good here. Uh, there's a bit of chocolate lily showing in this paddock too. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. really exciting to see those. Yeah. Have you seen the yellow lilies, the bulbine lilies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, they're here, but yeah, the, the chocolate ones did flare in last spring. This is curly windmill grass, or Enteropogon. Um, it's a C4 summer active grass, um, hence why it's looking frosted and dead because we're in the middle of winter. Ostrostipa or spear grass. This is Vitodinia or New Holland Daisy, one of the daisy bushes that occurs in these pastures. Aristida or brush wiregrass, it's another C4 or summer active native grass. Enneapogon or bottle washers grass, which is a summer active C4 grass. So Neil, some people might say you've just got wasted feed here. What, do you, what would you say in response to that? Uh, no, I wouldn't agree with that. You've got to have uh make the system work, you've got to have ground cover. Uh, so to save, save feed, actually grows you more feed in the long run because you get more uh, growth out of less rain. So yeah, I, I'd have to dispute that. And I guess it also gives you a bit of a insurance premium for the next three months if we don't get any rain. Yeah, well, that's right. We, uh, we work on that 100 day, 20 day rest period. Uh, if it does, happened not to rain that time, we have got feed to come back onto, uh, left from the previous grow, so yes, it's mm. got to be an insurance. And it's also been shown through research that grasses at this stage actually produce much more seed. That's right, yeah, it's um, definitely easier to get a seed set when it's already got a head, head start in the growth. We very rarely take it down to, to stage one, it's always on that stage two is when they've got to come out. Yeah. Otherwise it takes them just way too long to recover. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So Neil, we've got a fair bit of biodiversity in our pastures here. Do you think that's really important? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, we've got to have some grasses growing it every month of the year, so there's no point of having all summer growing or all, all winter. Yeah, because you've got both C3, so winter active species, right. so the spear grass and the wallaby grasses, yep. and so they're growing mainly in the winter period, but yep. can latch onto that summer rain? Oh, yeah, they, they definitely respond to a summer rain. We've got quite a range of C4 grasses or summer active grasses. So you've yep. got your curly windmill grass yep. and your aristida or your brush wire grass That's right. yep. and your um, bottle washers. So you've got quite a range. Yes. Yeah, the bottle washers are good because we actually call them 10 day grass here. So 10 days and they're, they're ready, to, well and truly ready to grow after a rain. Yep. So that diversity produces a good feed base for all your stock. Exactly. And that biodiversity also has a really important role in the insects that occur in your pastures. There's definitely more spiders than we used to have, uh, which I figure is a good thing because they, they must be eating the bad ones. The insect eating birds are, are, are definitely more here and the, the ground dwellers like the stubble quails, they're very common here now and they, they tend to stay the whole summer rather than disappearing. I've noticed increase in the, in the amount of lizards here, especially little dew lizards and and the, the geckos, there's a lot of geckos here now. Um, so I'm guessing they're all eating things that we don't want. The birds of prey, there's, I've seen an increase in them hanging around our property now, so I don't have a problem with that. So these grasslands and grassy ecosystems where you've got your trees are really important for that biodiversity conservation, not just of your plants, but also your fauna. Yeah, exactly, yeah.